hope you've enjoyed this series on whip fishing and just to round off I want to look at a few other aspects of it. I've done another couple of quick sessions on different still waters since I did the uh, river session using the whip. The first session was quite enjoyable. I, I was trying to catch rudd really fast but there were no rudd close in. There were lots of roach, a few skimmers, one or two hybrids, the odd perch and far out beyond the, the lily pads that stretched off to my left, right on the edge of them I could see rudd topping all the time, just dimpling the surface, nice shoal of rudd. And the only rudd I caught was about five ounces and I was after ones that were about 50 to the pound. And uh, that was no good at all for speed fishing, but it was enjoyable fishing. A few of the roach were just about big enough to need a landing net. As we've seen before, you can catch quite reasonable sized fish on a whip. People do land good fish on a whip and one way to improve your chances is to elasticate the last section or so of a whip, which means taking out the uh, flick tip and uh, some of the better system whips nowadays are sold with tips for elastication. So you get a flick tip with one tip and then some spare joints that you can put a, a small bung in and fairly light elastic, usually four, five or a six. They're, they're not really designed for fishing for carp. You, you can land a carp on them, but this isn't carp gear at all. For roach fishing, it's perfect or for dace, small chub, somewhere where you might get the odd bonus perch, things like that. So think about whether you want a pole with elastication. I did go to another venue and do some speed fishing. And what I'm going to show you now is a, a timed minute or a minute showing the clock and it's surprising. I'm not fishing that fast. I used to fish much quicker. This is just using a very cheap whip with a rig that isn't right and I'm getting very tiny rudd with the odd bit of fish. The size of the fish varies too much to go really fast and yet in that minute I get six fish. I miss a couple of bites and like I say that's nothing like the speed on some of the waters that I used to fish that used to be able to achieve and certainly 10 or 11 a minute at peak and uh, like I say I actually land six in the minute which would equate to 360 an hour. This swim was never capable of producing 300 fish an hour not if you were using a keep net. The, the variance in size was from uh, 70 or 80 to the pound up to fish of three to the pound and you you just don't you want them all the same size and you want thousands of them in front of you and you want to feed more than one swim so you have different areas of the swim feeding all at the same time so you're and then you alternate around three or four even five areas so the fish don't get too shy because speed fishing is all about endurance in, in other words catching a lot of fish for a long time it's not about catching 30 fish in the first um, five minutes and then nothing after that. It's about after four hours still catching it over 200 fish an hour. And uh, that takes some doing a lot of stamina and a lot of fish. And they do get harder to catch after four hours. They tend, tend to shy off. So there's a great deal of skill in catching a lot of fish for that length of time. One final tip is that when you're doing this over with a, a whip. Um, I was fishing with my mate Richard and I set up, it was his pole, his gear. We set up and I fished away for a short time and then handed it over to him and left him to it for half an hour and then came back and he said oh, I'll have another go so I had another go and it was quickly apparent that what had happened although he was noticing it but he didn't realise how badly it had got is every time he cast and the line wrapped round the tip another turn so by the time I got hold of the pole quickly noticed that 25 turns around the, the tip which I had to undo 
and then the pole worked properly. So that's something to uh, watch out for. Just make sure that the line is straight to the tip. It's not right around the, the uh, end of the whip. I may come back to whip fishing another day on a different venues, maybe back on the river again. But for now, uh, it's goodbye.